Hey folks, Matt from rightoftheimage.com. Got a uh, question here from Raphael from Switzerland. This is an email that came in. The email is headed A7 versus A6300. So we're talking about a couple of Sonys here. And he said, uh, hi, I know you did a video. I checked your video. Thanks for that. But probably you can help me answer my question because I can't decide what camera to buy. I'm an amateur photographer but doing at least one shot a week of rink hockey, roller hockey games, and BMX shots on pump tracks. Most of the picks I have to do in the sports hall, uh, dimming, dim light, so I have fast-moving people on a distance of 10 meters. Of course, I, do, I also do portraits, but my main style is sports. Should I really take the A6300 even with no full frame? Thanks from Switzerland, Raphael. So I'm assuming that you're shooting mostly photography. It sounds like it. Um, the A6300 is a great camera for photography, great sensor, one of the best performing APS-C sensors, essentially the same ones in the A65, the newer one. Um, and it does great video too. It's 4K video camera. It can be had for a great price. So I guess it depends what your budget is. I would have no problem saying, yes, you can shoot all of those things, the, the roller hockey, the BMX, and some portraits and whatnot, with the A6300. It's got a good autofocus system, very good performing sensor. You could pair it up with some nice lenses. So if that's what your budget can handle, sure, I think that will be great. On the other hand, if your budget can handle... The full frame, if you can go to the A7, and I'm assuming you're probably getting uh, the newer A7, the A7 II, um, then I will go to the full frame. Actually, I mean, really, hands down, depending on what your budget is, I go to an A7R3, probably one of the best cameras of all time at the moment. So um, it just depends what your budget is. Uh, if if you can handle the budget, if you're talking about an, an original A7, then no, I probably would stick with the A6300. If you're talking about an A7 Mark II, then I would, and you can afford it if it's if it's not squeezing your budget too hard, then I would probably go with the A7 Mark II. But again, the 6300 is no slouch, and if budget is a concern, you'd probably be better off then to get the 6300 and some better lenses. So we'll throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? What would you do in a situation like this? A7 versus A6300. Do you agree with my advice? What would you guys do? Let us know in the comments below. And um, let's help out Raphael on his decision here. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com.